All right, YouTube. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking to Auburn football, go ahead and subscribe to Vernon Speaks Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle. So I had a chance to stumble across a gym. G-E-M, not G-Y-M, but a gym of Brian Harson actually has a podcast that I thought was pretty cool. Um, he features Cadillac Williams and a lot, a lot of other guys, and you know, it was kind of, kind of great to see uh, or to hear the stories. Cadillac Williams was actually committed to Tennessee. He went on a visit and he was sold on Tennessee. And there was a lot of things that happened. Um, Tuberville, Coach Tommy Tuberville pulled out all the, 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 the stops and although Cadillac Williams was going to Tennessee, he still came to the visit for Auburn. And he said after his visit at Auburn, although he had made the commitment, and, and this has, has to be a hard thing for a young man, you know, to actually make a commitment and then decommit. He comes to Auburn. As a matter of fact, Carnell Williams, before the Tennessee commit, was actually sold on going to Alabama because he lived in the Gadsden area. And he he was going to go to Alabama. Auburn was not even on the radar, but when he came to Auburn for the visit and with Tommy Tuberville and the way the fans were, the way the culture was, the Auburn Creed and all that other stuff, he decided to come to Auburn. I, I, I want you, you guys, to go over there to Brian Harson's podcast, to where you can 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 hear this stuff. All right, so we got a quarterback situation at Auburn, to where you have Zach Calzada, Holden Grenier. Robbie Ashford, and T.J. Finley. Here's the case for T for uh, Robbie Ashford. Robbie Ashford out of Alabama, committed to Oregon, and via the transfer portal, winds up back at Auburn. Why do so many people like the idea of Robbie Ashford. I'm going to tell you why. Auburn has had a success with the dual threat quarterback. You think about all the quarterbacks in the past, especially in recent history, Cam Newton and Nick Marshall Auburn's highest level of success has been with the dual threat quarterback. And that's why a lot of fans like him so much. A lot of fans want him to potentially be the starter. Does he fit in Brian Arson's system? I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. But the Auburn history of success has been with the dual threat quarterback. Let me know what you think about this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become a member if you will. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger. Whoa.